All right, so just when you thought the saga over this saw was over, it's not. So I made a video stating that this saw was the worst saw on Amazon, and I think I even said that it was the worst saw ever made, which still might hold true. But in that video, I was comparing it to a Milwaukee Sawzall and comparing the two and trying to justify why this thing even exists. And a lot of you said that I don't have the right to say that this saw is trash since I'm comparing it to a saw that is three times the price. I think that is a fair argument. I mean, this is top of the line. This is not even bottom of the line. This is like below the line by my standards. So what we're gonna do is I went and got a Black & Decker Sawzall. So the price difference here is this is 48 and this is 58. So we're gonna see how much more you get for spending 10 more dollars. And uh, I think it's gonna be quite a bit. Well, and before anybody has an aneurysm, some of you probably noticed this is the old blade. I am gonna be using a brand new blade. So nobody, nobody freak out, everybody remain calm. Brand new blade. So this thing has the absolute best chance possible. All right, first up, two by four. If I remember right, in the last video, the Milwaukee Sawzall was about twice as fast as this. So three, two, one. Fifteen seconds. I actually think, if I remember right, I think the first time it was like 13 seconds. So 15 seconds is the time to beat. Three, two, one. Twelve seconds. I'll tell you what, that is no Milwaukee. That the the power is just I mean it is very cheap and it's battery powered. But I, I expected better than that. That's kinda that's pretty pathetic. Still faster though. Alright, four by four. See what we can do with this. Three, two, one. Seventeen seconds. I don't remember what the first time was, but uh, it actually wasn't too bad. All right, let's see what we can do here. Three, two, one. Come on, give me a reading. Uh, it popped up at like 27. It was probably like probably 24 or so in real time. So the power of this, of the battery powered Black & Decker is lacking for sure. Honestly disappointed. I thought that this would have a little bit more in it than that. Black & Decker, what are you gonna do? You know what, let's give it, let's give it one more run. Since it stalled halfway through, let's chalk that up to user error. Let's give it another go. Just to see, just to see if it can do better. Three, two, one. Fourteen seconds. Okay, so I think that stall and maybe the way that I did it uh, prevented it from performing at its maximum potential. Okay, it's better than I thought. So something I didn't even know whenever I first bought this saw and first tested it was that it actually comes, or doesn't come with, but you can buy metal blades for it with that, whatever this is, this stupid little oval connection. So we have a three quarter inch piece of tube and we're gonna see how good this thing is at cutting metal. Or actually, we're gonna see how bad it is at cutting metal because I highly doubt that it's good. Get this little metal blade in here. Three, two, one. seconds. That, I'm, just, I'm not gonna lie, that's actually better than what I anticipated. I thought it would be more closer to like 20 seconds. Alright, so for the cordless Black & Decker, we are going to be using a Milwaukee Metal Blade. Three, two, one. I 
I mean, that was 16 seconds, but that was with all kinds of problems. I think I should have tightened up the clamps again before I, before I ran this thing through. All right, I think we are secure now. Three, two, one. This, <laughs> oh man. All right, I've kind of remounted this. Now let's see if we can hold this thing sturdy enough to get a good cut. Three, two, one. I, I don't know what else to do. Wait. Like, it just vibrates everything to pieces. How am I supposed to hold this thing still? All right, this is just gonna have to be my final attempt. I have this two by four here. I also put one on the bottom of the table to sandwich the C-clamps in between them. I have the C-clamps tightened as tight as they can possibly go. This is just as secure as it's gonna get. Three, two, one. Fourteen seconds. Okay, so what was the other one? Like twelve, I think. So after like four attempts, finally getting it to hold still enough to be able to cut it, it's just a, a little bit slower. So I also just for fun, since I spent so much time fighting with this thing, I do want to test it out with a you know, Milwaukee and a Milwaukee blade and see if the see if maybe the blade has something to do with this metal. Maybe it like has a hard time cutting it or something. Three. Two, one. Seven seconds. <laughs> okay, so it has absolutely nothing to do with the blade and uh, everything to do with the sawzall. <sighs> well, I didn't expect to have this type of ending. I was hoping that this thing would just blow this thing away, just like the Milwaukee did, so that I could stand here at the end, trash this thing some more, throw it in the trash, and be done. But obviously, I can't do that now because this thing didn't quite perform as I expected. As much as I don't want to admit it, this saw isn't all that bad, especially when it's compared to another saw that is in the similar price range. I think they're pretty much even. Um, they each have a, a give and a take. This one has more power, but it's corded. This one doesn't have as much power, but it's cordless. This one, you have to use these specific blades, which seem to be all right, but it kind of sucks that you're stuck with just these specific blades. This one cuts uh, metal a little faster. This one cuts wood a little faster. This one, you can use you know, any Sawzall blade. You know, of the thousands that are made, you can use any one of them you want. Um, I think it really just depends on whatever your specific application is. If you were in a if you're in a situation where you're going to be using the saw always where you can be plugged in and you don't mind that you have to buy the specific blades if you have to you don't like you you have to buy one of these two i would probably go with this one if you're going to be like cutting wood out in the field or like maybe you're maybe you're using this to trim some trees or something obviously i would choose this one they're pretty much even which is pretty upsetting. I really wanted to trash this some more. So, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.